my name is Carla Yoro and welcome back to my channel but if you're new around here don't forget to subscribe or leave me a comment down below because today I am going to show you how we set up my husband's dialysis I'm gonna let you know the lighting in our room is not great but I still wanted to show you how we set it up you're gonna have to come down quite a bit hello vlog family no hold on so that we could see all the adult, like the child movies, the childhood uh, shows, the parents were always like this. Um, they they never, never had faces. You can never see them. Yeah. <laughs> Hi guys, sorry about my hair. Oh lord. My husband is 6'2", I am 5'2", so. Yeah. We tried. I know. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so I am gonna be setting up a dialysis machine because right now it is actually 9.33 p.m. So we're late, we're late because your dialysis, his dialysis treatments are usually like- 10 hours. 10 hours, sometimes 12, right? Or is yeah. it always 10? No, it's always 10. Okay. Setup oh, the setup. Now. The setup takes like 45 minutes. Yeah. Not of constantly doing stuff, but like while the stuff primes and You'll see. So anyways, let me go ahead and bring you over to our bedroom. I'm gonna show you how we set it up. Um, it's not gonna be like some in-depth tutorial or something like that at all. It's just going to be showing you kind of what it takes to do peritoneal dialysis at home. I'll even explain a little bit of what I'm doing. I am not a dialysis nurse. I am not an expert. I just happen to be a nurse whose husband is on dialysis, but I've never been a dialysis nurse. That's my disclaimer, okay? So take what I say with a grain of salt. This is not medical advice. I'm just simply showing you guys how we do it in the Euro household and yeah, he hooks up to it while he sleeps. So this is something that he's going to be doing while he's sleeping. He doesn't have to be awake for it. Um, for other dialysis, like there's two types of dialysis. There's hemodialysis. Hemodialysis is dialysis that you will do it through your blood. And then peritoneal dialysis is fluid based and he hooks up to a catheter that is in his belly and it's has to do with his abdomen and stuff like that. I so the first thing I want to do is show you guys our setup. This is the machine. We have a blanket on top of here and I'm gonna tell you guys why in just a second, but this is she, this is the machine. My husband is this, so the name of this machine or the brand is Amia. Amia? Yeah, A-M-I-A. A-M-I-A is what Daniel is saying. Um, but the supplies that we use are from Baxter. So hanging right there is my husband's um, blood pressure machine, which I'll show you guys in a second because he actually has to get that done. Um, and the reason we have a blanket is because we've never been able to figure out how to get it to go into sleep mode. And like you're gonna see in a second, this screen turns on and it is so bright. And like, we can't sleep at night because it is so bright. Um, it is not the neatest setup, but it's the best setup that we've been able to figure out. So we have, this wooden crate and we throw all we have a multi-plug in there it usually looks cleaner but i am or like more put together but i am trying to show you guys everything so everything's kind of all out of the place this is the side of the bed that he sleeps on so that's why we have it here and the other reason that we have it on this corner is because and that's just a box with supplies because our bathroom is right there and you'll see in a second that there's a line I might not show you all of that because I don't think you want to see your bathroom, but <laughs> um, there is a line that goes from the machine and is gonna go directly into the bathroom and into the toilet. And that line is for whatever my husband drains out of his body at night, it's gonna go into the toilet. Down here, like I said, it looks kind of messy right now because my husband will hang one of his backpacks on there that he carries with him all the time. But there is this, um, basket it's just the best thing that i've been able to find we also keep other boxes of supplies down here but we don't have any um and he will we have a multi-plug because the machine is hooked up um to that the machine can run on battery but um it's always hooked up of course battery just for emergencies and then there is like a modem that looks almost like a wi-fi looking thing it connects to his dialysis center and connects to his nurse and lets them know how he's doing basically so it sends information from the machine to the dialysis nurse so my husband says the machine is a snitch so it lets him know how he's doing and then there is just some this is trash i gotta throw that away but there's just a notebook that he'll keep on there in case he needs to take notes of anything. All right, the next thing are supplies. 
Um, I promise our bed sheets aren't dirty, but the shadows are weird. Um, so this is called the cassette. It comes packaged like this. This is gonna be all the tubing. And then this right here is what the cassette looks like out of the package. I just wanted to show you guys how it comes packaged. Um, the brand that we use is Baxter. There are different brands. That's gonna be really important. So this is basically, um, that's the prescription. And then these green um, little tabs as well let you know like the strength of the solution. There's yellow, green, and red. Yellow being less strength, green being medium strength, and then the red being, of course, the strongest solution. So the stronger the solution, the more fluid it's gonna pull out of him. It is 6,000 mLs, so um, 1,000 mLs is a liter. So there are six liters. I hope I am getting that math correctly. But there are six liters, okay, six, six, six. He uses 18 liters of fluid every night. So whenever we have to travel and stuff like that, all this stuff has to come with us. A bunch of that, like this is every night, everything he uses in one night. There we go. This is everything that he uses in one night. So imagine if you have to travel, you have to take multiples of all of this. All right, let's go get his blood pressure. So while the machine turns on, I did want to show you guys this over here. <laughs> it doesn't look pretty. <laughs> sometimes it does, sometimes it does not. So what we got going on over here is basically this shelf that we had. Daniel actually built this a couple of years ago. So it was like extra furniture that we had. Um, so I brought it in here and I'm gonna show you guys everything that's on here. Now I'm not gonna get super detailed into it because I have another video that's like a half hour long. If y'all can sit through it that long where I show you how we organize all of daniel's medical supplies but right now i just want to give you a quick look at it in case you haven't seen that but i will link that video down below but here are all his supplies his caps that he needs this is the solutions and the bandages that he needs that's just some extra stuff in there um this is also bandages and extra supplies supplies and the machine's talking to me so that, that's what you were hearing so the first thing is it'll ask us to perform a test it just wants to make sure. Yes, it did. Sorry, I'm like down here, but if you didn't know this, something that's really important to dialysis patients, which is what I just input it into the dialysis machine, is weighing yourself. So this is my favorite scale. I order it from Amazon. It's like nice and sleek and pretty. Um, this is the favorite scale that we like to have, and it gives you the option in the back to change your unit from pounds to kilograms. So most of the time, medical things are going to be measured in kilograms, and his machine is measured in kilograms. So he has to weigh himself. That lets him know how much fluid is in his body. Um, so yeah, that's really, really important. So really love the scale. I'll link it down below. It's pretty and aesthetic. <laughs> Even though the Alice's Center totally provided one, I just think this one's cuter. Blood pressures are also really important. He takes it twice a day. And it was one. Eleven. Like I said, this information goes back to his dialysis nurses. and temperature as well, because they want to make sure he's not getting an infection. And they're able to measure trends over time. They're able to look at his weight. They're able to look at his blood pressures and make sure that, you know, everything's going okay. Like literally the screens show you what to do. So if you are intimidated by doing dialysis at home, the screens literally like show you a picture of what to do.
so now this lovely thing has to prime for like 24, 25 minutes, something like that. Basically means that all this fluid that is in these bags is now going to have to, it's actually gonna fill up this bag right here. Um, so this bag that is sitting right on top of here is going to fill up and it's gonna warm up. And basically what that is gonna do is so that, I'm gonna bring you guys down a little bit. So by warming up the fluid, basically what that does is when it goes into Daniel's body, we don't want it to be cold because it's gonna make him cramp and it's not gonna feel, it's not gonna feel wonderful. It's gonna prime all of these lines, fill him up with fluid, give her the air. Obviously we don't want air going into him. Um, and yeah, it's gonna warm up so it doesn't make him cramp. Sometimes he still does cramp um, and has to go and take a warm shower to, to help that. Uh, but for the most part, he does pretty darn good. And then I will say he does this himself every single night. Um, I just help out when we're busy or, to show you guys <laughs> but he does it all himself every night he got trained on how to do this for two weeks at the dialysis center um over that time they gave him like a booklet it's like he's going to school for two weeks they give him that booklet and he has to fill it out and do um different things on there that he has to check off that he knows how to do um we get a shipment every month of all of his dialysis supplies including um the cassettes that I show you that he uses one of these every night. This is just the tubing that's on there. Um, and he gets caps and all this stuff that he needs. Um, but he gets a one monthly supply of all of that stuff. And he does have to order the supplies himself. The first order the nurse helped him with, but he does have to order the supplies for himself every single month. So um, that is something that we are responsible for. The dialysis center won't do that for us. They're there to help us, of course, if we need the help. But when you do dialysis at home, you're responsible for pretty much um, kind of all of it. And then every month he will go to the dialysis center to get blood work done. Um, and they will let him know, you know, how he's doing or if something needs to be adjusted. Um, and just basically they kind of do a complete checkup on him and draw up labs and stuff like that. So he does keep in constant contact with the dialysis center. Um, until like we're on our own at home doing this, like they really do keep track of him. And if there's any issues, um, he sees them. He sees them actually twice a month now that I think about it because he has to go once a month to get his um, labs drawn and then um, like a week or two later he will go to um, talk to the doctor and have his results read and stuff like that. So he actually goes like every two weeks to the dialysis center. If you have watched this video all the way to the end, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it and learned a little bit about peritoneal dialysis. And if you yourself are going to be doing dialysis and you needed to kind of know what it looks like, hopefully this was helpful as well. I make more videos like this where I talk about hospital stays and tips and tricks on managing chronic illness and all coming from a nurse who is currently living that out. And I just want to be as helpful as I possibly can for anyone who is going through something similar. But subscribe for more content like this and I'm gonna leave some videos down below that you can also watch where I talk about hospital stays what to bring and stuff like that so I will see you guys in the next one bye